I think I'm crazy. I've built a bridge all the way out to Ulrig and lived at Ulrig. I have built a bridge into Cargo's path and been able just to walk on to Cargo. And I was thinking, well, I kind of like bridges. What else can I do with bridges? And then I thought, why don't I drive on to Cargo? Yes, that's right. In this video, I'm going to try and drive a car onto the cargo ship by using a ramp. Is it possible? Well, that's what this video is all about. I hope you enjoy. It's very entertaining. And make sure you stick all the way through to the end because I'm going to show you the bonus footage of what happens when you get a horse. Yes, that's right. A horse on cargo. Guys, if you want to become a streamer or you just enjoy watching streams, then I've got the app for you. Bego Live. It's a mobile phone streaming app and it's so easy to use. You can start streaming today and interact with other streamers in so many different ways. Allow me to show you. As soon as you log on, you have access to all the popular streams. You're probably wondering why mine's in Arabic. Well, that's because I live in Dubai, but you can change the region and check out what's going on elsewhere. So check this out. In the top, there's something called multi guests where you can broadcast with friends in four person, six person or a nine person grid. But I found that you can even join randomers and see what's going on there. I joined this one. I don't even know what's going on, but this person's asleep. They also have something called PK, where two broadcasters can connect and compete against each other by connecting their two streams. And if I still haven't sold you on this platform, well, there's gaming. And this is what you're here for, I'm sure. You can catch me live in the gaming section. So make sure you use my link in the description. Guys, during the month of November, I'm going to be giving away four $100 Amazon gift cards. And Bigo Live is going to be giving away this gaming bundle worth $5,000. So to be eligible to win, all you've got to do is download the app and follow me. So I've just spawned on the server and I'm literally checking the map for the first time. And check this out. Cargo has just spawned. It's like fate. They know exactly what I'm trying to do. There it is, the bottom of the map. And for those of you that don't know, the cargo ship has three locked crates, which take 15 minutes to unlock. It's a highly contested monument because it has the best loot of all and it only comes around every couple of hours. So for me, it's very important to get on it early and using a bridge and a car is just, well, a funny way to do it. A boat, that's very useful. Let's see if there's any fuel. Oh, there's fuel. Oh, okay, not much. Maybe we live there. That might be the best place. But then I changed my mind because I saw cargo leave and I want to be in a place where the cargo passes twice in one cycle. And last time I did this, when I tried to jump onto cargo, I built in a spot where cargo only passed once and then that didn't leave any room for errors. So if you make a mistake, you have to wait a whole another two hours for it to come around again. So this time I found a spot where I thought it passed twice. Oh, no fuel. With no fuel left, I was forced to abandon the ship and try and find some. But that's when I came across this base. A minicopter as well. Okay, he's not that stupid. He's a little bit stupid. I'll come back from the minicopter. What a start. What a start. And just to clarify, guys, when I do these kind of challenges, I do them on a two times. I don't want to overkill it on a five times modded server. This is only two times. So the amount of loot there is absolutely insane. An inventory full of metal. That's still crazy. Inventory of metal. That is crazy. I eventually make it to the south side of the map where I want to build for this cargo challenge. Also, take note of this space. There may or may not be some rockets coming their way. I am literally overflowing with resources. I didn't have enough to farm to complete the base, but that's a good problem to have. Luckily, I'm in a quiet area of the map. I did that deliberately to be able to do a challenge like this undisturbed. Base relatively secure and loot stored. I can now get on with the challenge. All right, what I need to do is find an animal that need low grade. Where's the best place for me to get low grade? We're on the road. I'm gonna go steal that guy's heli. These are my neighbors. They're in this story too. We're gonna need to make the car parts later because I'm gonna be driving a car onto cargo, which is pretty epic. And for those of you that play Rust, how many of you actually use the cars? I can tell you what, after having tried them this wipe, I'm definitely gonna be using them again. All right, these furnaces are still going. Heli's still there. It's like a scene out arc. 
Oh, here's some check the furnaces. Okay. We don't have much fuel. But we're going to grab and go. Grab and go. Teach him to leave his heli unattended. I'm nervous. Go. Go, 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 go. Fuck you. I got your heli, bitch. Yeah, I got your heli. After that, I also went to buy a boat. Hello, sir. Give me a boat. Okay, my heli's still here. Nice. I wanted to secure my heli and boat, so I expanded the base. But cargo had also come out, and I needed to see how close it got, so I knew exactly where to build. So I'd take a screenshot of where it curved, and that way it doesn't destroy my build-up. Tip crosses there. And let me tell you from my experience in the past videos, you want to jump on the tip because that's the closest I'll ever get to any build up you do. The farm the way down. I was joined by Sora as he was keen to help with this challenge. Oh my god, I'm being door camped. <laughs> you fucker, door camping me? You better run. He's gonna nick my heli. And we lost the heli. Unless you gave me a heart attack when I got when I got killed. Make sure you got stream mode on, sorry, because we're looking for Mafalda now. Oh, I hear the heli. Okay, he parked over here. Yeah, I found his base. He's my closest neighbor. Oh my god, he panicked so hard he didn't loot everything. So I have a tendency to get distracted when doing a challenge. And well, I wanted to go and raid that guy straight away to get revenge. But Sora's like, remember why you're here, do the challenge. I was like, okay, but I kind of need the heli to get resources quicker. So we both agreed that we'd raid for the heli. I forgot I left stuff in my boat. With the heli already stolen, it was very important that I secured the boat. With that done, I was able to continue with the mission in hand. And that's when we hit the jackpot. Sora had found a decayed base on his way down to Mia. So I went up with the boat to collect him and we were able to get gear set and guns, which was very useful in defending ourselves. Well, that, oh, oh, no. So many. It did the thing again. No. 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 <laughs> it's done the thing. <laughs> There was no point raiding to get the heli until I'd secured the base fully and I was able to store the heli. So that's what I did first. I was doing my best to not get distracted and do everything I can to try and get a car onto cargo. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mafalda's our neighbor. Mafalda. Zugablet. It's sugar blood. It's, it's Mafelda. He's starting a war on us, man. Are they on the roof? I can hear them. They're little gin run. Yeah, they're little gin run. Where'd they get up? Enough was enough. I wanted to let them know that this shit wasn't going to fly. So I wanted to raid back my heli. Fortunately, we had gear sets from the clan base that decayed. And we farmed enough sulfur to raid one door. So we went to take our heli back. Um, I'll chop out. If you stay on the rock, can you watch the door? I'm getting wood. I'll get wood, mate. We can jump in. Look. Yeah. Oh, then it's fine. Oh, we can, we can both jump in. Okay. Alright, let's see if the heli is still here. Yeah. Are they home? Not that I can hear. With the heli secured, we went back to them to see if they were there. If you come in night time, so they might come home. Um, what? Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Hello. Uh, Britt, how's hello. it going, man? Hello, hello, hello. I'm we, doing well, thank you. We've done a lot already. 
Oh, we haven't done any yeah, of I'm it. looking at your stream right now. You're running and roaming with LR and L96. Yeah, but we haven't done the building out cargo. Right. Okay, cool. Good one. Nice, nice. On the roof? Yep. You good? My fucking gear set, boy. That's my gear set. Mate, that, that was all you. I'm not gonna lie, that, that was just all you. Where have we built? Uh, we're Run down back. the south, S10. Oh, we can bag you. Okay. Huh. door camping. They're door camping. Actually loaded. What the fuck? You dead, Sora, or not? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, that's, um. <laughs> This is a great thing to join into. <laughs> Mafalda and Jerry are door camping us. Hello there. Wait, you have an M249? Uh, yeah. uh, let's just say it was a decayed clan base. We had resorted our neighbors to coming back with double barrels, but they weren't going to be much of an issue as it appears that we got the last gun. So Britt and I went to start the process of building out to cargo, and that would involve selling all our stone for wood at Outpost. Oh, Britt, pick it up, pick it up. Ah. We, um, I'm scared. Have the car lifts over. No pressure. I'm not new BS, so I don't know about We were now able to start the building process, and it's quite boring. It's just laying foundations and upgrading it. So I'll just fast forward a little bit and then skip to the finished product. Do you think we need to make this higher, or do you think the car can drive on a shallow bit like this? No idea. Should we go get a car? Let's go get a car. Yeah, let's go get a car. Can you still come around to me, please? Oh, Brit, there it is, out in the middle of the ocean already. What the hell's that? Is that a storage thing on the back as well? Oh, is it a box? Ah, yeah, storage me. box. Yes, yeah, let's go, go, dude. <laughs> this is sick. This is so slow. <laughs> this, this, this ain't getting on oil rig. <laughs> on cargo, <No>. sorry. <laughs> it can't even go up the hill. Oh, our neighbors, watch out. <laughs> Don't mind us, we're coming through. <laughs> right. We made it. Now, for those of you that don't know much about the cars in Rust, in their base form, they're terrible. You need to put different parts in them and so on and so forth and upgrade them and change the way they look. And to do that, you need to put them on a little car ramp and that needs electricity. So best thing to do is put it in a building. So I found up some wood so we could build an upgrade. The time that uh, we did all that there, I couldn't a shit on a Pokemon card. Fucking amazing. That's the question. Nope, look at that. Easy, dude. Oh, fucking hell. Can you get through these doors and you can garage door? Oh, nice. Um. Oh, yeah. Okay, that works. Right. Okay, can you reverse it up? <laughs> don't go to war, don't go to war, don't go to war, don't go to war. No. Oh, like a glove, dude. All right, we, wow. we, that worked really well. Confident in the theory that the car could now drive on it, we continue to upgrade the bridge. All right, I'm going to start the building process and you, you can come and upgrade, yeah? That sound good? Yeah, yeah. I'll get the hatch in the front of trees. Ah! Help me. Coming. Need help. Need help. Got that yet? Let's go, DB. Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, How many? One, one with DB, one with AK, uh, LR. Isn't that the guys across from the... Both dead. Oh, GG, dude. Is that, they, they live in that base. Oh my god, inventory full of metal. Oh, uh, coming, coming, coming. What the fuck? Why are they doing that? They stole metal the furnace. Work. They stole the furnace. <gasps> no, they did. They stole the furnace. Lucky you died to that, Brit. Uh, yes. <laughs> our neighbors were nothing more than just a thorn in our side, and we could easily handle them. And we were able to finish the bridge pretty quickly and then start with a ramp. And the ramp took some experimenting as we didn't know how high to make it, how long to make it, and so on and so forth. So we experimented for a while until we got the height that we thought was right. <laughs> All right, should we, should we waste our car and test it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> this is gonna be so good. Rum, rum. Oh, full speed ahead, boys. <laughs> oh, oh. oh no. Oh no, 
the water's affected yet. Yeah. No, he's gonna have to raise up then. <laughs> I'm not wasting it. I'm not wasting the car. Can you reverse this? No! Oh, we're gonna drown! <laughs> well, there goes that car. All right, the wall. The, we need to build it up half a floor. Leave the ramp like that. Uh, leave the ramp for now. Um, or, on, let's, let's let's test it with this car here. Oh, max power, 95k. How long, watch it? <laughs> oh my god. This thing is so fast. Easily. This is easily done if we can. Oh, yes. my, oh my god. Seven, do that. Can you see? Yeah, but this is fucking wide, man. That's something. Whoa, the bridge is not finished. There's a hole. I think it's decaying. Can't yeah, be. I've all that. That wouldn't have decayed just now. Was the twig underneath? Someone come and broken it. Someone's breaking it. Someone's breaking it. It's underneath breaking okay, it. I'm going, I'm going under with a <laughs> scuba kit. I just got heard something it. brick. I see the little ship. There's no way. Why would you do that? <laughs> There's two of them. What the fuck? Killed one. What is your problem, what is mate? Your problem, mate. What is your problem? You need your problem. <laughs> yeah, so can you start smelting sulfur, please, so we can raid them? Yeah, let's go, let's go raid them. Now with the bridge fixed, we're able to do the test run once again. Let's do it. I'm gonna play chicken. Of oh, course. Oh my god. <laughs> speed demon. Oh, oh. Is that not speed? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh god. Don't drown. Oh wow. I think. Oh the shit. Car, the car demolished me. So. <laughs> Did we just overshoot that far? No way we just flew that far. The test run was very promising, so all we had to do now was get another car and wait for cargo to spawn. Shit. Oh, this car's sick, dude. You want to take it home? I'll give you half the fuel. <laughs> I get to drive. Bet you Brick goes past their base and gets instantly mowed down. Yeah, I bet. Like, what, what is this? Just like Whoa! <laughs> You're not, are you? Are no. You? That was going flying. With our dual engine car with the high quality parts installed, we were ready to go. All that was left to do was wait for cargo. Go. Oh my god. Uh, now? Go, 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 go. It flipped oh. us. I don't know why it flipped us. <laughs> With that slight failure, it was back to the drawing board to figure out what went wrong and wait for the cargo to come round once again. Oh wait, there's, there's, there's people at our base. There's people at our base. I can't get up. We're gonna have to destroy this ramp. Are they geared? Yeah, yeah, they. Hit one. They're in our car. Hit one in the spot. I'm dead. Oh, I'm at the M249 in there. Hit him again. Yeah, I died. The M2's in the box in there. Okay. I fucking left my gear set in the M2 in there. With the best gun in the game in there, we had to make sure he didn't get his hands on it. If he did, surely we'd lose this fight. Just spawn, Sora. Hit him again. He's dead. He's full dead. Okay, one left. Wait, wait, I'm gonna go through that door. Don't, don't, don't push. I think one ran. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. He's oh. Dead. Doors were open. After that small distraction, I went back to get the car parts underwater as it had the best parts and they were very expensive to make. The issue we now thought we had was that the ramp wasn't high enough. If we hadn't flipped, we still thought we would have hit the side of cargo. So we built it one higher. Oh my, the view from up here, guys. That's a view. Hold it steady. With the changes made, all that was left to do was wait till the next time cargo came. Okay, let's get in the car. No, no, no. We got, we got to be casual. We're like the Thunderbirds. Have you watched Thunderbirds? Oh, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go. I can see it. Are you, are you, are you going to be in the back for this? Yeah, I'm in the back, dude. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm scared. Hopefully this doesn't glitch out again, please. Yeah, go. I'm out, I'm out, no, I'm out, I'm out. Just keep going, just keep going. Oh no, fuck, I'm getting on, I'm getting on, I'm getting on. I can't get in. I'm in, I'm in, go, go, go. It's out time. Oh, come on, don't glitch out, please. <laughs> yeah, more power. The bottom of the ocean was really becoming a junkyard, so we needed more cars. And I went out to get a new one, and this is when I came across the other neighbors, the base I showed you at the beginning. Oh, full gear, full gear coming for us, full gear. Full gear? How do you know it? He... Whoa! I've been jumped right next to me. I didn't realize there was a guy next to me. These guys had different names to the other two pests that had just been pestering us the whole time. So I grabbed a gun and went lightly geared to see if I could find where they lived. And then I found this active base. Yeah, this garage door's in here. Got him. Nice. AK. They got a heady on their roof. With these boys online and now knowing that we're the closest neighbors that are active, we thought we better raid them before they raid us. Because if they destroy my ramp, I will literally cry. But we went back and prepared. He's hit me hard. Eight rockets. Hmm. Might not be enough. But... Not be enough, but doors and you get and you get on the roof, yeah? This raid was a very important raid to me as well. Brit, also another YouTuber has never done a rocket raid before. So I was very proud to be taking his rocket raiding virginity. I'm reloading I'm reloading my rocket. Remember they here. have a door to the left as well, so they have two doors into the base. Right. Where are we gonna go in? Through doors. It's up to you, isn't it? Um What the f You got any wood on you, Sora? You can look it up. I'm on one health. One health. One health. Whoa, one health. Brick, come to me, Brick, come to me. He's like, how did I survive? Okay, his base has got drop downs. Okay, through this through the, door. Through the door. Through the yeah. door. But on the side wall, yeah? Just open up the side. All right, I'll, I'll rock it wherever you want. Watch the other door, guys, remember? Yeah. yeah. If you hear a door open, tell us. Get, try and get a bit higher, Britt, in there. On the right. Watch the peak down there as well. We've hit armor core. Oh, shit. <laughs> Well, um, what's the doors like? We're gonna do doors. So I'm a wall with foundation of stone. Should we take that? Hit the other side now, so the other door breaks. I've hit him three times. I hit him loads of times. I'm not sure if he's dead or not. Have we enough to go in? He's in, he's mm. in the fucking... He's in there. I just saw his feet. Yeah? Yeah, I just saw his feet. Watch out, get out. Did you get the box? Uh, they went to the place. Keep shooting, keep shooting. Killed him. Nice. Oh. I think we're in. Just stand back. Just stand back. Just stand back. Oh no way. This part. Okay, it's just spawned. It just spawned. Okay. Guys, C4, three rockets in here. Okay, I got off. Oh my god, the TC. Oh, the comps, dude. TC, you got gunpowder, HQM. TC stacked. One. Yeah, baby. Rockets, okay, comps. Okay, TC. I've got TC, dude. And door. Let's go. That was an easy raid. With the enemy threat neutralized, all that was left to do was go home and wait for cargo. It already spawned, so it was coming round as we spoke. Watch out. That feels better. Last time the speed was too slow, so I wanted to make sure it was right. 
Cargo ship was coming and we were ready to make this our final and best attempt yet. Oh, it's tight. It's tight. I, I bounced when I hit it. Faster I went, the more likely I was to flip. And that was the issue we had last time. But we had no choice but to go with this run. Here we go. Please, please, for the love of all that is holy. We need to hit the front of it. Lights on. No! <sighs> no! <sighs> no one. And I now mean no one was more disappointed than me in this moment. Britt had to log off now, so I was left on my own with Sora, but I wasn't done. If you know me, I am persistent and I will get it done. So, my girlfriend had a plan. Yes, my girlfriend, she doesn't even play Rust. She said, build the ramp too wide. So that's what I did. And guys, if you're still with me up until this moment in the video, waiting for this moment, please, I urge you, subscribe. Give me that early Christmas present. Help me get to 100k by the end of the year. I'll have this car It didn't take me long and I got the ramp complete. This time too wide. Surely, surely this would work. And you only need about 60 speed. Oh, it bounces, it bounces. With all the testing completed and the car lined up, ready to go, all that's left to do is cargo to spawn. And there it is. So are you gearing up to come with me? On the front because it's Yo, so much it? easier to How's it going? Oh, Brit. Brit, 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 hurry up, hurry up. Do I need to... Oh, okay. Fire. One second, one second. It's, it's literally just turning. Far. Brit, hurry up. I'm coming, I'm coming. Give a oh, come, on. On. come on, game. Yeah, that's it. I don't think you're going to make it. I'm going to have to go in a second. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Run, run. Oh, fucking hell, it's going to be hard. I have to go. I have to go. Yeah, go, 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 go. Do it. Just... On. Yes! yes! I'm on it! Get out! And there we have it. I think it's a first in Rust, getting a car onto cargo. I don't think anyone's ever tried that before. Guys, at the beginning of the video, I promised you I will show you what it's like to get horses on cargo. And I'm going to show you that in a second, so don't click off just yet. I just want to say thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you to Brit, Sora for all the hard work. You don't understand how much work goes into a video like this. So just thanks to everyone. And the fact you can do it is pretty epic. So here's the bonus for you guys. Enjoy. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, but I mean, it works. <laughs> You're down the side of the Oh, oh. It's on fire. It's gonna blow up. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, I put you out. <laughs> <And> then... <laughs> That's brilliant. And the thing with horses is they just float. You can get on one and then it just drags you through. When you hit something, it knocks you off, but you stay attached to the horse and it still drags you. Like, I'm not invisible, guys. I'm in god mode and that's it. So I don't understand how it's doing that. But hey, Rust developers, there's a glitch for you. Guys, thanks again and don't forget to subscribe. Yeah,